Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beninin, and for today's video, I thought it would be fun to rank a bunch of sunscreens, basically all the sunscreens, that I've tried in the last year, and let you know which ones I love, which ones I hated, and which ones were just kind of like, oh, yeah, it's fine, it's okay. I've been seeing this like ranking trend go around for a while. I'm a little late to the game, but I'm here. Just for a reference, I have very oily, acne prone, extremely sensitive skin so my ranking may be different for you if your skin type is different uh, and also this is just based off of my preferences so just because I say I think a product is trash doesn't mean it's actually really trash for your skin it might work for you but it's trash for me you know what I mean okay so I moved over a little bit this is our tier list we only have three categories the first category is give me more these are the sunscreens that I I loved that I repurchased that I will repurchase and I just had an overall really good experience with them and then the second tier is she's I like these are the sunscreens where they weren't horrible they weren't terrible experiences but I would not probably spend my money on it I may recommend it to other people because it could work for their skin type but for me it was just kind of like mm, she's fine she's I she's not amazing she's not garbage but I probably wouldn't be reaching for her as often and then the last category is utter garbage this is trash this is I looked like Casper the ghost or I had a reaction to it or overall I felt like a total grease bomb these are just sunscreens that I would not recommend to you and I will never repurchase again um, so those are my three categories so the first sunscreen that we are talking about today is the sun bum mineral SPF 30 tinted sunscreen face lotion um, this is a mineral sunscreen it's a tinted sunscreen and it just looked awful on my skin there was a definite white cast I looked very gray I looked like Casper the ghost but the finish of it actually wasn't that bad it wasn't too oily or too greasy but the gray cast is just so severe it's not even the type that you could like cover up with makeup so for those reasons this one is going to end up in the utter garbage category the next one is the super goop unseen sunscreen this is an spf 40 and this one for me went on very clear it's a chemical formula so i did not expect for it to be ashy at all and it wasn't so it had a very clear finish um i really enjoy this one because it has a very like mattifying silky feel I loved the finish of this it really helped to like control some of my oils it went on very matte but not too matte it was just a very pleasant experience so I would put this one under the give me more category I also tested out the super goop super power sunscreen mousse uh, this one was an SPF 55 and it was a mousse formula like it foamed up in your hand and then you rub it in and put it on your skin this is a chemical formula and for me there was no white cast I just found that this one took forever to dry down like it was a good 30 minutes before she was completely dried down but prior to that she's sticky she's a little bit like she just takes some working in and I don't have time for that I want my sunscreens to dry down within like 15 minutes max so I can be out the door uh, and this one just took way too long for that but that being said it didn't break me out and it was clear so I think I would put her in like the she's a she's I I would I wouldn't necessarily buy her again but I didn't throw her away too. the third super goop product that I tried was the super goop mineral sheer sunscreen this is a mineral physical formula um, and <laughs> this one I was white I looked very ghostly and I the yeah the white cast was just a lot for me um, but I will say that it was very light and it had a very natural and smooth finish but it just wasn't the type of white cast that you could even like put some makeup over and make it work it was just too much so for that reason I would put the super goop mineral sheer sunscreen in the utter garbage category because if you have deeper skin it just it just doesn't work it just doesn't work all right let's talk about the Neutrogena ultra sheer face mist sunscreen this is an SPF 55 this is a chemical formula and it's actually a face 
spray. That being said, it went on very clear and it had, I think Neutrogena, this is kind of their thing. I feel like they put fragrance in everything and it's very unnecessary and it's not even like a good fragrance smell. It's just like that very, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a very signature Neutrogena smell <laughs> that I don't like at all. And for that reason, I would put this Neutrogena face mist in the utter garbage category. Uh, the fragrance was just too overwhelming for me. The finish of this one is very shiny, very greasy. It pills upon reapplication. So like the second or third time you try it, you're gonna get like the white pilliness to it which I didn't like at all so for that for all of those reasons this is gonna go in the utter garbage category all right while we're talking about Neutrogena we might as well talk about the Hydro Boost sunscreen it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel lotion um, this one is a chemical formula SPF 50 it went on very clear it has like a gel I don't know how else to explain it. It's a gel consistency um, so it's very lightweight and clear my issue again with it the fragrance in this one is even worse than the spray <laughs> and it was just way too overwhelming for me so for me i would put this in the utter garbage category simply because of the fragrance but the actual finish and wear wasn't terrible so it could it could maybe be in the she's eye category maybe nah it's gonna go in the garbage <laughs> the next one is the black girl sunscreen make it matte formula I love this sunscreen. I have been loving it since I got it. I just finished my bottle and I do plan on repurchasing it. Um, this is an SPF 45. It is a chemical sunscreen. It's very light. It has a primer, velvety feel like the Super Goop one. I will say that the, the matteness isn't as matte as the Super Goop one, but it's a good healthy matte. It'll be in the give me more category uh, because there's no white cast, because there's no fragrance, I like the overall wear of it. Let's talk about the original Black Girl Sunscreen formula. This one was an SPF 30. Again, it's a chemical sunscreen, so it went on with no white cast whatsoever. It was slightly greasy for me, and it just felt like a heavier sunscreen lotion, um, but it did go on clear. They are unscented, so for those reasons, I would put the original Black Girl Sunscreen formula in the She's Eye category. I didn't love it, per se, for my oily skin, but in the winter, I was able to wear it when I was a little bit more drier. The last Black Girl Sunscreen that I tried was the Black Girl Sunscreen Kit. It is a chemical formula, SPF 50. It goes on very clear, no white cast at all. My only issue with this one is, again, like the original Black Girl Sunscreen, for me, it was a bit too heavy. It, was, it wore better than the original, but it was a bit too heavy, a bit too greasy. This one would, I think, would be okay for me to wear in the winter. So for all those reasons, I'm gonna put this one in the She's Eye category with the original. We're doing good, we're doing good. I tried out the La Rouge Pose Antios Clear, what was it called? Clear Skin Oil Free Sunscreen. This one was an SPF 60. It was a chemical sunscreen, but it left me with a pretty gnarly white cast. Um, and I didn't like the finish of it at all. It was like, it felt dry on my skin. So not only was it white, but it just felt kind of gross to me. So for that reason, I'm gonna put this specific La Rouge Pose one in utter garbage, but I think in the future, I'm gonna try to test out some of the, the other ones because they do have a pretty wide range of sunscreens. Okay, the next one is the Kula Classic Face Organic Sunscreen Lotion. This is a chemical formula. This one went on very clear. There was no white cast. Uh, I feel like it was like a healthy glow. It wasn't like oily or greasy, but it was glowy. Um, and I actually did enjoy that one in the winter. It's still a little bit too glowy for me in the summer. Um, I guess I would put her in the She's Eye category. I didn't hate her, but for some reason I didn't love her and I just haven't been reaching for her that, like at all. So the next one is the Australian Gold Botanical Tinted Face 50 Sunscreen. This one was an SPF 50. It was a BB cream, so I had pretty high hopes for it because if you look on the tube, like the darkest shade in there is basically my shade and maybe even slightly darker. So I was like, oh, well my skin tone is on there so it better be working for me. And I tried it and it left a white cast. And this one was like, an ashy, almost like a dark gray 
white cast that just looked disgusting. Kind of smelled like a fake tan and the smell didn't go away like after a couple hours. It was still there. For all those reasons, this one's gonna go in the utter garbage. It was horrible. Like how are you gonna put dark skin tones on the, like literally on the bottle, but then it doesn't work for dark skin tones. Like garbage. The Sunbum Face 50 sunscreen. This is a chemical formula with an SPF 50. It has no white cast. It didn't cause me any breakouts or irritations. I'd say like it's a normal to glowy type of formula. I'm debating between putting her in the She's I category and the Give Me More. I do remember that this one does have that very distinct Sunbum scent to it. It's like a is a coconut it's like a coconutty beachy smell to it so if you are sensitive to scents i wouldn't recommend this one um but it wasn't like as extreme as the neutrogena scent so i'm gonna put her in the she's eye category because i have finished her i have repurchased her but i don't love her I don't love her. So she's gonna go in she's eye. The Biosan Squalene Plus Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. This is an SPF 30, it's a mineral formula, and it left me with a white cast. It wasn't like too bad. I feel like after a couple of minutes, maybe like 30 minutes, um, it sort of eased down into the skin, but there was still a white cast, and the white cast was a lot more prevalent when you were like outside in the sun. Um, so. For me, I think this one would go in the utter trash category. The first COTS one is the COTS Face Prime and Protect Tinted SPF 40. It's like a sheer matte finish. I really liked the finish of this one. It was very lightweight, it felt good, but the white cast, because the white cast was so bad, I would think I would put this in the utter garbage formula. The other one was the COTS Sensitive. This was their SPF 40 non-tinted formula. This one actually didn't leave me with a white cast. It went on pretty clear. The finish was pretty greasy and pretty heavy and pretty sticky. So I forgot about that. So although there's no white cast, I don't I didn't like the finish. I would recommend this to people who have dry to normal skin but if you have oily skin like me it's a no um but i think i might be able to get away with using this one in the winter so i'm not gonna put it in the garbage category quite yet even though it is greasy i think i'll put it in the she's eye category the final cuts sunscreen that I tried was the Cots Flawless Complexion one. I did a whole video about this one because I got super excited because it was like the first mineral sunscreen that I really loved. And I think I still do like her. I don't know if I love her still. It does dry down clear um, and it's not sticky. Uh, the thing with this one is you kind of have to reduce your moisturizer or skip your moisturizer altogether because it is a bit of a heavier formula. So when I made that original video, I was testing it out in the winter and I loved it in the winter I had no issues with it but I haven't been able to use it in the summer one because I don't think that one's water resistant at all so you start sweating I don't I don't know if that one's water resistant but I did notice that I was getting white cast when I started sweating with that one and it's a bit too heavy for the summer for me it's just it just feels like a lot so I don't know. For the winter, I would probably put her in the give me more category. I will definitely be repurchasing her next winter. But for the summer, she'd probably fall in the she's I category. I wish I would have done an in-between. I don't know. I don't know. I'll put her in, no, I'll put her in. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put her in give me more and I'm gonna put a little star asterisk thing here. This is my asterisk to tell you that she's in the give me more for the winter because I loved her for the winter. I dislike her for the summer. Is that fair? That's fair. <laughs> the next one is the pipette mineral sunscreen. I hate this sunscreen with a passion. This one's gonna be in the utter garbage. The white cast was terrible and they said there'd be no white cast and there was a white cast. So even more utter garbage because that's not the truth, okay? <laughs> the next one is the Coco Kind Daily Sunscreen. This is an SPF 32. This is a physical sunscreen. I think this one was only like zinc oxide 21%. That was all that was in there. Um, I hated this one as well. It left me with a white cast and like the Pipette one, it's pretty drying. Not as drying as Pipette, but it was pretty drying for me, which says a lot because I have very oily skin. Um, I just didn't like the finish of this one and I didn't like the white cast, so it's gonna go into the utter garbage for me. Peter Thomas Roth Instant Mineral SPF 45. It's like a, it's a powder, so you're supposed to use it 
over your makeup to like retouch up and reapply your sunscreen. It wasn't super great, but it also wasn't like vanishing or anything. I don't know, how do I describe it? The powder, it's like the more you put the powder on, the more gray it became. So I thought that I hated that one, but I've actually been using it more this summer to like, to like blot when I'm wearing makeup and kind of like take away some of the shine but you have to use like a very small amount of it and the fact that you're using such a small amount of it i don't think you're getting the full spf of it but to me it's like it's better than nothing i'll put her in the she's eye i'm gonna use it and finish it but i don't think i'll be rebuying it last one is versed this is the versed guards up daily mineral sunscreen spf 35. this one is utter garbage for me and let me tell you why this is one of the few sunscreens that I got like a serious like real reaction from it. When I put it on, it was fine. And then about an hour, 30-ish minutes later, my skin just like started flaring up. It felt like my face was on fire. Um, and that doesn't happen for me often. Even though I have sensitive skin, usually it's just like a mild irritation when I put a sunscreen on that doesn't work well with my skin. But this one was like very extreme for me and i had to wash it off right away so this was a no it also did leave a bit of a white cast white cast with a reaction it was just pure garbage and i would probably if i were ranking within these ranking categories the first one would be at the very lowest 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 ranking because it gave me a reaction and it has a white cast like how are you gonna do that how are you gonna be ashy and you're gonna make my face burn up why Final one. I know I said the last one was the final one, but this is the real final one. It is the Replenix Sheer Physical Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus. This is the spray bottle formula. Um, so you spray it in your hand, rub it in, and then put it in. This is a physical sunscreen, and I actually really liked this one. I kind of didn't want to put it on this ranking though because I haven't been able to rebuy it i don't know if they discontinued it or if they, i don't know i don't know what happened but i haven't been able to repurchase it this one is a very clear formula it's very lightweight um, my only issue is with it it's kind of drying so you need to put like a heavy layer of moisturizer underneath it otherwise you're gonna be like dry kind of around in this area at least i was um but this would be great for someone who has really oily skin that i haven't been able to find it so i don't know if i should put it in this ranking i'm gonna do it anyways i really like this one so i would put her in the give me more category too bad i can't find her anymore to give me more of it but if you guys are able to find a link for it let me know i would love to rebuy but that was a lot of sunscreens those are all the ones that i've tried in the last year I ranked all of them for you again remember this is my ranking my opinion just because i say something is trash doesn't mean that it's trash for you what is that saying one man's trash is another man's i don't know what they say you know what they say as always comment down below if you have any other sunscreen recommendations i have a few of them lined up for you guys but if you have any specifics that you want me to try out or if there's any in this like ranking that you don't agree with and you're like, that's not garbage. Leave that down in the comment section as well and let everybody else know that you don't think it's garbage. <laughs> but if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.